Good morning, HPC. Nice to see you. Time for um, another chapter from Andrew Wilson's book, Incomparable. On Sunday evening, Boris Johnson sat down with us as a nation and he began to, as he put it, sketch out a roadmap for how we move out of this current lockdown and into the new normal, whatever that may be. In so doing, he told us a salvation story. I don't know if you noticed. The baddie in our story was, unsurprisingly, the coronavirus, something he described as a devilish disease. But the hero of the story, the means of rescue in our story, was the light of science, which would help us to defeat this invisible killer. So it's a good time for us to be thinking about what Andrew Wilson uh, points us towards in his chapter, that one of the names of God is Yahweh, your healer. He uses the incident in Exodus chapter 15, where the people of God have been grumbling uh, and they come to um, they come to the bitter waters, which they're unable to drink. And God wonderfully sweetens the waters by the means of a bit of stick, as uh, he tells Moses to throw that in. Uh, and Moses describes Yahweh as the Lord, your healer. We have so many people to be thankful for, for all that they've done with regard to the coronavirus and these last seven, eight, how many weeks is it that we've been in lockdown for? Uh, all of their compassion and their hard work and their sacrifice, whether they were post office workers, NHS staff, uh, carers in nursing homes, um, teachers, supermarket workers, delivery drivers, the list I'm sure could go on and on and on. But all that they have been able to do has been a gift to us from the Lord. In a very real sense, we have experienced God's common grace through them to us. His grace that he wonderfully bestows on everyone, regardless of whether or not they believe and trust in him. All of their kindness, all of their compassion, all of their positivity, all of their long hours have come to us as a great blessing from the Lord who heals. So it's right that we are grateful to them. I'm sure many of us will be joining in with the Thursday clap for carers as we as a nation express our love and thankfulness to them. I want to say as a Christian, please also pause and say a prayer. Thank God for them, for it is he who is our healer and we experience his healing. At least we are at the moment experiencing his healing through them. Wilson says uh, this is his name, this is part of his character and that he never changes. And therefore it's right and good and proper for us to pray to him, asking for healing, just as it's good and right and proper to pray, bringing all of our needs to God. Not for nothing are we told to pray, give us today our daily bread. But we must be prepared for God to answer no to our prayers for healing, just like any other prayers, or even not yet. Perhaps it's better understood as God saying to us, oh, he's not going to heal us yet. We do need to pray expectantly, pray confidently that God is able to heal even the most dire medical situations, because he can and he does. But we must also pray confident of his goodness, that even if he chooses not to do that. He remains good and loving and just. Because one day God promises he will heal all our diseases to restore us physically. And he may choose to do it. He may choose to do that in this life. And yet we will still die. But one day we will be physically perfect in the new creation with him. I saw a lovely tweet recently on the internet, a quotation of Don Carson. Don was one of the 
um, people who spoke at Bible by the Beach last year. And he said this, there's nothing wrong with me that a good resurrection won't sort out. And I thought that's a really helpful perspective. One day we will all experience in its full force the healing power of Yahweh, our healer. Enjoy that today, I pray.